Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's your boy, Coach Doug, for the second episode of Pacific Northwest Trout Slayer. Um, yesterday, we did some uh, power bait fishing. I had some technical difficulties with the uh, iPhone. Today, I brought out the camcorder. Hopefully, we get better audio and a good picture. Um, Again, I'm at uh, Lake St. Clair's. We're about to head out on the lake. It's uh, July 9th, 2020. See you out there. Yeah, son. It's your boy. Coach Doug, it's a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Started pretty late. Stayed up late last night. Decided to sleep in a little bit. So today, I got my longer ugly stick today, my seven footer. I like to use that one for trolling. Puts the arm out there a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got a wedding ring, orange and uh, I guess a neon green. Uh, beads with uh, red hooks. I got a fake uh, power bait worm on the end. That leads about two feet long, a little bit over. And then I got a this green bead uh, three fla uh, flashers. That's one thing I did fall in love with out here was the uh, great outdoors, Washington State. It's on point. I got out of the army, uh, decided to stay here, met my uh, beautiful queen. Had a couple little ones. Well, my little one's uh, 11 now and the other one's 13. I've been living out here since uh, December 99. The army offered me a good fat $15,000 bonus to come here. I was stationed in Germany at the time. I re-enlisted for another four years and uh, tried to go to Fort Drum. But uh, I'm 11 Charlie, so that's a mortarman in the infantry in the army, and uh, they didn't need any. But they said they were going to start restarting their striker brigade. They were going to give me a fat $15,000 bonus. And I was like, you know what? I've never been to the West Coast before. So let's do it. funny that the choices you make in your life can change or set you up for opportunities or whatnot you know or it can be devastating for me it was a uh, it was the best thing <laughs> every decision I uh, started making as I got older started becoming one of the best decisions in my life I got out in 2005, medical, operations on my feet, knee problems back, you know, regular infantry stuff. Try not to put too much line out, but uh, pretty shallow towards the water. The reason why I love uh, fishing on Lake St. Clair is uh, I think it's a perfect kayaking lake because it's more fingered, it's not open uh, like American Lake is. American Lake is basically my back backyard, but uh, it gets too busy on that lake, especially when you're in a kayak. I mean, you get to some open spots like we're coming up here in front, but uh, it's still manageable with a kayak, you know? Plus, there's no fast boats going on here. Uh, it's five miles an hour. Tolling motors, basically. See a lot of people with uh, that live on the lake that have pontoons. Love to get one of those. I haven't decided yet if we're going to venture out of this uh, part of the lake yet today. Yesterday was my first day back on the lake since two weeks, I want to say. Been busy. 
I don't know if it was caught in the last video, but uh, I'm a, I own a uh, youth football and cheer organization, Lake Junior Lancers. We are the uh, feeder organization for the high school program, Lakes High School. Uh, that's headed by uh, Dave Mill Miller, Hall of Fame high school coach. Always contending for the state championship every year. I think they got, I think they got one under their belt. Maybe early 90s. I believe maybe, I think it was early 90s. One thing I like about his philosophy, especially when you're dealing with the youth, is uh, development. Yeah, we uh, don't care about the wins and losses. I mean, if we win, that's, that's the sugar on top. But uh, it's all about developing these kids, these student athletes for, for life and preparing them for college and maybe to the professional levels, you know? So I'd go, on my days off, I'd go fishing in the morning and then uh, get back home, clean up the fish and then get ready for practice as usually. But since we got COVID this year, we don't even know if we're gonna have a season. We'll find out on the 15th. Oh, actually it got pushed to the 31st now. But uh, but our fundraiser did uh, really well. We did a uh, um, firework uh, stand. We broke records. 11 grand over the old record. So these guys, they really busted their butts. We really, yeah. This is the danger alley right here. Sometimes the wind can get a little hard through here. And it's pretty shallow, so I gotta watch out for the weeds. I swear a lot of the cutties are, the big cutties are getting caught right in here though. Oh yeah, they're, they're still in the water right ahead of us. I'll go right through them. A lot of minnows come through here too, you know? We're constantly feasting. Yeah, I really didn't get uh, into uh, trout fishing not until five years ago. I mean, I, I, I still fished. Grew up in the Hudson River, Hudson, New York. Swam it, sw fished it, camped it. <laughs> there we caught. Um, I caught a lot of uh, bluegill, a lot of bass, trout in the, sh the streams and brooks there. And uh, striper bass season. Those are the big boys coming from the, the Hudson, from the ocean. Those things get big. I remember my boy Mike, man. <laughs> I was working with him. And, uh, we'd uh, stop off to, to the river and uh, throw some lines in. <laughs> then he'd catch one. <laughs> he didn't know how he was going to hide it because he knew his wife was going to be mad. <laughs> but hey, we did it anyways. But yeah, the last five years I've really gotten into uh, trout fishing, learning, um, watching a lot of the YouTube videos. I'm a big fan, a big fan of a lot of you YouTubers out there, which inspired me to do mine. I mean, I'm not going to be as professional as you guys go. My, my channel's more of, uh, you know, just recording my daily actions and talk about life, fishing life. I do my I do fishing for uh, PTSD. I coach for PTSD. That's why when uh, Governor Inslee said no fishing when the COVID thing came out, I was pretty upset because I couldn't coach. We had we uh we had uh sorry I thought it was so much pogo, but we had a uh, short had to stop a basketball season. We had a couple more games, and then uh, my seventh, eighth grade team was going to go to the March Madness, but we had to cut it short. I don't even think I haven't gotten a bite yet. Yeah, then need to slow it down a little bit. So for the last five years, I've been documenting uh, my catches, how big, where, how many. Started a big archive on my. Uh, 
my uh, on my computer. And as I was like uh, doing watching YouTube videos, I'm like, oh man, I want to do that too. So I had an old uh, channel I had up that I made years ago when I first started coaching. I only had two videos on it. I didn't even have access, but finally I cracked it, got in, and just converted the channel over to a fishing channel. So, like I said in my other video, you'll see my partner, Brian. He's also from New York, too. His uh, wife went in the Army and uh, brought him out here. And me and him all constantly, uh, we hook up. Go fishing, trout fishing. Talk about home life. Got anything to complain about or anything that's happened, you know. Let's talk about things. You might catch those some of those conversations. Now when I troll, uh, I, I go to the wedding ring, but I'll also do uh, spinners and top water bait or whatever, you know. Couple boys out here fishing. I like to see. I'm gonna troll for a little bit, but not too much, because like I said, it's been a couple, it's been a while, it's been a couple weeks. I want to overwork my arms, and I can't come out the next tomorrow. It's my long, my long weekend, my four day. Also taking Friday, uh, Sunday off too, so it's gonna give me a five day. We've been really uh, working hard at work. And most people are still working from home. And since I got off Sunday, I asked Brian if he wanted to go fishing. This is normal days off on Wednesdays and Sundays. Mine are uh, every other Wednesday. And then uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. I think I said it last time in the uh, other video. You know, I do things my way that works for me. I know you probably guys been saying, oh, you don't do it that way, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? I've been doing this for five years. And I know I, do, I don't do things the right way, but like I said, it works for me. And don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm willing to uh, I take advice. And I, like, I also do new ways, too. Like the wedding ring. I never used a wedding ring until I came out here. My buddy who told me about this lake, he told me about the wedding ring. I, would, I was using uh, spinners and spoons. And then I did a lot of shore fishing, so I dropped just some power bait. Same colors I had yesterday, red with a uh, earth, uh, earth, uh, a worm color uh, mice tail, and I like to use that Mike's uh, purple uh, pink liquid that trout set. This is like magic. So a lot of people like to squirt on there like crazy, but uh, you don't need that much of this. Just got one. But anyways, let's see what we can get, guys. Oh, there you go, man. Nice. So when I toss it out, I like to uh, let the uh, line drop a little bit for like four or five seconds, and then I'll close the bale. Um, I think as yesterday I stated is uh, it's about 12 15 feet here and of course you get further out that out towards the way I'm tossing it gets a little deeper I do believe it gets 40 40 feet 40 to 50 feet in the middle so as the summer gets warmer the trout will get more towards the middle and deeper and then I'm, and if I'm dropping power bait I'll creep in closer every time drop my anchor So since I had uh, problems with the iPhone, I brought out the camcorder, the one I used to record my uh, 
organizational games for my uh, youth football team. I've been doing some serious uh, trout fishing the last five years. It's a great uh, for PTSD. Um, and you uh, veterans out there suffering from PTSD or just want to do something different, try fishing, man. Or sister, brother or sister. We'll get a kayak, we'll get some fishing gear, and get out in the middle of the lake. It's the best social distancing you can do right now, too. I'd love it to get out here and I smell the fresh air, the sun, the, just everything. It's cleaner, air, I mean, everything. That's why I coach, too. Plus, I know I'm making a difference in the community. I see a lot of people, they complain, this, that, that, this, and that, and this person, this person. But they never do anything about it. Okay, they, they, they speak up, but what kind of actions are you doing? What are you doing for your community? That's where the first real starts. Uh, that's where it all starts. Home, family, community. But I get out here on the lake and uh, forget about everything. Yeah, I just hope to inspire all you other guys and girls out there. When you feel lost. Find a hobby. Find something that you fit in your niche, your groove. Like I said, fishing and coaching is for me. So some of y'all noticed I was using three balls. Well, two balls and a mice tail. But I'm using a size six hook. And that's what makes it float. I got a little split shot on there because of what I wanted I wanted it to slowly f fall to the bottom and then when the uh, weight hits the bottom my um, bait still floats I think my leader is about uh, about two feet maybe or give or take one thing I like about uh, doing power bait from the kayak is uh, the natural movement of the kayak it makes the the bait move once in a while and gets that action on that tail. And I found out trout can't resist it. I'm about to throw another line in. And I got white on that one. Oh, these white ones smell like heavy garlic. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. Quick story about the white power bait. I've used it a few times here and there. I never caught And then the last time I was here by myself, used it again and <laughs> I limited on it. Well, not the last time, second last time. Because last, the last time I was here, I used uh, the red and orange. I'm going to throw a second pull out there. This one's got the white. Uh, with the orange mouse tail. nibble so far. Anybody watch UFC? We got some good fights coming up this Saturday. I'm a big uh, sports fan. Tennis, soccer, football, baseball, cricket, rugby, basketball, you name it, I watch it. <laughs> Especially anything right now. Can't watch my Yankees play. My Redskins are in jeopardy of losing our name. The Lakers got LeBron James on their team. I still don't know how to feel about that. 
Kobe all day. Rest in peace, Mamba. Isn't that funny? Top headline news was Kobe Bryant's death and COVID-19 was here already. COVID-19 only had a little section in the paper. Crazy, man. Ooh, there we go. I think I got one. Nope. Got a button. Yesterday, the uh, yellow perch, the first one I caught, it tricked me. I just slammed my, um, my bait. And then when I started reeling in, it felt like it wasn't even there. And then when I got it towards the boat, that's when I was like, oh, I got a perch. It's the first one of the year, too. Skinny guy, but long. Son, got him. Oh, pretty big guy too. Oh yeah. What's on the white? Two. So 
Melt and pop the line first. And usually that's the test run, or he's going outside the tail. Sometimes I do it too early and I don't get to sink the hook. They spit it out right away. So most times I learned to try to be patient and not get too excited. Two. Nice fatty. Swallowed it. Greedy. All right. One more to go. Another big fat guy. Probably 13, 12 incher maybe. We'll find out when I get home though. All right. Now that I only got one more to go, I'm only gonna use one pull. And the camcorder. Uh, Battery died. I do need to buy an extra battery though. Trying to get that last fish. Started out with an 11 incher and then it got bigger and bigger each time and fatter.
that's it guys. Got my five. Each time they got bigger. Got my warheads. The measurement on there. I want to see how big that big one is. Whew. Told you. Stop moving, dude. Fourteen. Told you. Must be fourteen inch. All right, YouTubers. The day's over. Did a day with a nice fourteen incher. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now time to go home. Catch you later. Yes, yeah, son.